So the question is, I know that I need better core stability because when lifting, I have issues keeping my core tight. What are the best moves to do to increase core stability? Okay, so to answer that question, I would first start off by just giving you a little bit of general background on what core training involves for lifting. A lot of people think core training involves doing a lot of crunches or sit-ups or movements like that. The essence of core training, if you want it to carry over to strength sports, okay, is to keep your spine stable without movement while moving your limbs, okay? So again, I want to move, be able to move my arms and legs without moving my spine. That's the essence of core training. So for example, if I'm doing a squat, I want to keep my spine in a neutral position. I want to be able to obviously move my lower limbs into a full squat without my spine rotating, extending, or flexing. Okay, I want to keep that spine as stable as possible. That's where you're going to be the strongest. So, to carry that over to um, lifting movements, you want to do movements where you have your feet on the ground. Those are called ground-based movements, okay? Strength sports, are not done on your back, okay? They're done with your feet on the ground. Even a bench press is a ground-based movement. And certainly squat, hand clean, snatch, um, deadlift, movements like that are all ground-based movements, okay? So we wanna do them in a standing position. Um, so the, the two best ones that I know of um, to do in a standing position are one, is just what I call a front squat hold, okay? A lot of people will do planks, right, on your elbows, okay? And they'll try to keep a tight core, body in a straight line and all that. A front squat hold is going to be a lot more specific type of a plank. And what you're going to do is you're just going to get under a bar, lift it up on your shoulders as if you're going to do a front squat, and you're just going to hold it there, okay, with a neutral spine, slight bending your knees, knees and hips, okay, and practice setting that core, keeping it tight, five seconds, relax, five seconds, relax, five seconds, relax. Do it for 15 seconds. And when you do that, load it up, okay, so if you know your front squat max, Start with about 100% of your front squat max. I've gone up to about 600 pounds on those. It's really gonna challenge your core stability. The other one is um, a landmine, okay? Now, if you don't want to know what a landmine is, you can look it up on, on YouTube or Google it. You'll, you'll find videos or pictures of it. Um, and basically, the essence of that is um, you're gonna stand in a ground-based position, feet about shoulder width, a little bit of bend on the knees and hips, and you're gonna be moving your upper body while you're keeping your spine in one position, okay? The third one I'll give you, um, and this isn't gonna be a ground-based movement, but it's gonna be really good at keeping your spine in, new, in a neutral position without getting hyperextended or flexed like a lot of people do. And that's called a blast strap fallout, okay? It's a very similar movement to an ab wheel roll away, okay, where you're on your knees, you're on your toes, and you're rolling an ab wheel or an ab dolly away from you, okay? Blast strap fallout, um, similar movement, like I said, it's in a push-up position, you're gonna have straps, okay? Some people call them blast straps, some people call them gymnastics rings. Um, some people call them TRX straps. Any of those will work, but get in a push-up position with your hands on those rings. Roll them out away from your body as far as you can, keeping everything rigid, glutes tight, core tight, and then come back to the starting position. Those are probably the three best um, that I would give you for dynamic ground-based core stabilization.